the next startup here, it's Agrolution. Uh, we have here Philip, right? Max. Max, yeah, you made it. <laughs> Sorry. <I> made it. <laughs> You've been in Hong Kong yeah, this, 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 this morning. morning. Exactly. You have to tell us about that. I so Agrolution, they have a plant cube, which looks from the outside like a fridge, but inside is a greenhouse, and you can grow your own homemade organic food. Absolutely. Let's see. OK. <laughs> A hundred years ago, people used to grow their own food, or they got it from a local market. Then convenience food was introduced, canned food, the microwave. People started getting out of touch with what they were eating and where their food was coming from. Nowadays, we see a new trend, the trend of organic and local food. This market has grown to over 68 billion already. On average, the uh, head of lettuce travels over 2,000 miles from farm to fork. And if you buy organic food in the supermarket, you usually pay twice as much, but you're not sure if it's of a higher quality or not. My name is Max. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Agrilution, and we're introducing the Plant Cube, a dishwasher-sized, fully automated home-growing device. It works in combination with an app, and lets you grow a large variety of leafy greens, herbs, and even berries. It eliminates the need for a green thumb. It lets you grow food soilless, pesticide-free, up to three times faster while using 60% less fertilizers and up to 98% less water than traditional agriculture. Our market is part of the home appliance market, of which we have a rather small portion, the smart kitchen appliance market, which has a size of 694 million in the US alone. Now, that seems quite small, but in the coming five years, it is estimated that this market is going to grow by up to 1,000% to reach a size of 10 billion in the US alone. We um, build the Plant Cube, which is hardware. We're planning on licensing that. We're in touch with a couple of large kitchen device manufacturers already. On top of that, to offer a complete package, we also offer refill supplies, such as seeds and fertilizers. The Plant Cube will go on sale for under 1,000 euros. And the refill supplies, so the seed bundles, we call them, we will sell as a monthly subscription pack for 25 or 24 euros per month, um, and we'll have a 70% margin on that. We use state-of-the-art technology with machine learning algorithms, so we can offer a better product for a lower price than our competitors. Our competitors have basically a box with light, dirt, and an automated watering system. Um, I've already told you about the flaws of the organic food market. And gardens are limited by region, season, and climate, of course. I co-founded this company roughly two years ago with Philip, who's somewhere in the audience here. Um, he has a background in mathematics and mechatronics from the TU Munich. Um, Manu does our marketing and has a background in environmental engineering and has been active in the food sector for over 10 years already. Um, Alex is our numbers guy. He has a background in mathematics and finance, also from the TU in Munich. And I myself have a background in international food and agribusiness, and I've been making a name for myself in this so-called vertical farming industry for the past five years now. We're being supported by an amazing advisory board, which consists of Dixon de Pommier, who is the so-called guru of vertical farming, and Jasper den Besten, who is considered the top plant scientist in this industry. On top of that, uh, we're supported by a number of amazing initiatives. I've highlighted some of them behind me. Um, Tendris, who is our LED supplier, national instruments in the German aerospace agency, who support us with hardware and software. And of course, Climate Kick, who's brought us here today. Um, with the 200K that we've raised in the past two years, we built a couple of prototypes. We built our first lab in Munich. And now we're asking for 1.2 million to go to market by end of this year and expand our lab. If you have any questions or are interested in what we're doing, then please come find me or my partner later. Thanks. See you. A couple of questions.
The most important question, I've seen the slide with the strawberry. Yeah. My seven-year-old daughter is addicted to strawberries. It costs me a hell of money. Can I make a positive business case having a strawberry monoculture in your plant cube? <laughs> or is it just uh, I mean, a psychological thing right, to probably, grow? It probably wouldn't make much sense to put them all in a small plant cube and sell them. That's nice for no, your no, own consumption. Not selling, but... <laughs> yeah, yeah, for your own consumption, it makes sense, totally. But if you want to make money off of it, selling it to restaurants or supermarkets, you should put it in an, in an old warehouse or in a shipping container or something okay. like that. What's the, uh, uh, the payback time? What um, for our system, it's roughly three years. Okay. It's that's not too bad. That's okay. The 999 euro, this is the retail price, right? Exactly. Yeah. Uh, you're selling then via OEMs, exactly. probably? Yeah. Uh, Miele, that's the plan. So we're in Siemens in or whatever. What's eventually your, your our price margin, and margin? Our margin of the, of the hardware of the plant cube itself is rather small. Um, but what we're focusing on are the refill supplies. So it's a recurring revenue model where we get 70% of the margin. It's an espresso model? It's an espresso system, yeah. But can you protect yeah, that the customer can only buy your I unique seeds and fertilizers? forgot that in my fertilizers? pitch, actually. Um, we, we're protecting it with, um, with QR codes and RFID technology, so the customers will have to buy our products, our refill supplies. There are hackers around. <laughs> there are hackers around <laughs> everywhere, and people copy everything. But you know, the really the the IP is in the in the software and the in the core technology itself. And even if they try to hack whatever, if we, I mean, we, I just came back from Hong Kong and China, and we had a lot of discussions I about that. Imagine, yeah. Um, yeah, but there are ways to to avoid that. Okay, thank you, Max. You're welcome. Great idea.